Aquarius, this is Mary Chi, my channel to Loka. Let's see, what is your situation as a plan? What do you need to hear from me right now? Aquarius out there, some more rising weenies. What is it that you need to hear from me right now? Aquarius out there. One last time. What is it that you need to hear from me right now? All right, Aquarius. The Ten of Cups. Okay. And the Ace of Pentacles. What a beautiful start. It seems like um, something is coming your way which is going to bring about, um, you know, a commitment, abundance in your life. Because Ace of Pentacles is solid. All right. And it is going to bring you so much abundance with this ten of cups energy it is you know if it's a job situation let me give you a scenarios if it's a job situation you're getting an offer which is going to bring about so much abundance which your family is also going to enjoy because if you are unemployed and you get a job yes you know you share the wealth all right um if it's a promotion at your workplace you know, things get better. You know, you get more uh, more money. Now, that is also making your family happy. Now, it could be a relationship. Okay? Ace of Pentacles, a solid commitment is coming your way. Which is going to bring about, uh, you know, a unification. A union. Alright? It is going to start a family for you. So, whatever it is, whatever it is, it... it brings a lot of abundance in your life all right it makes you happy it makes you content all that some of you might be dealing with a Pisces energy for some reason they want me to break the deck here okay yes <laughs> can it be more blunt than that knight of cups it is coming your way somebody is coming your way with some kind of an offer all right Again, it could be a new person who is coming into your life to offer you that uh, commitment. You know, this person might be proposing to you. You might be in a relationship and this person is proposing to you. Let's get married. That, this could be a marriage situation. All right. Or else it is a job offer which is coming your way. Brilliant. All right. Some of you might be dealing with an Aquarius energy or a strong Pisces energy. Aquarius out there. What is your next card, please? Ooh, uh, two of wands. Drop the card. All right. This one. Knight of Cups. Oh, too many cards. Okay, I'm just going to put this back in because I don't know which one I was supposed to pick. Uh, all right. So it seems like the wheel is turning in your favor. Okay, whatever the situation is, somehow, uh, if uh, it could be also because the Eight of Cups energy, uh, there is this energy about someone walking away. Okay, uh, but with those wheel card, it seems like this person might be taking a U turn. Okay, um, there is this energy about you very much invested into emotionally invested into wanting this to happen. Okay, because two wands and the world card, there is this energy about, uh, you know, um, you are manifesting the second chance, you know, a transformation within a situation. You were hoping for um, things to um, come around. Okay, just like the wheel in the world, you know, things are happening, things are moving forward. Okay, uh, there is this energy about being very optimistic about this, you know, for, uh, for quite some time we were hoping for this to happen and now it is coming through. Is there anything else? Three of Wands, you had been way, it, it is very blunt, although they made me, uh, you know, read a couple of cards together. It is the same, uh, it's one track energy. Okay, this is regards to a person who has walked away. 
who is coming back into your life second chances renewals rebirths everything happening all right you were very optimistic about this happening now it is coming uh coming through you manifested this it is happening it's let's see yes coming in okay uh, very very passionate energy full fully fired up all that okay some of you might be dealing with an aries energy scorpion energy gemini or a cancerian energy uh what was that uh sagittarius or a scorpion energy yeah uh, for quite some time some of you might have been hurting again because of what had happened because of you know the disappointments the walking away all that uh there was this energy about um being hurt but for some reason I think it's an old energy which is coming in for some of you because the way it just jumped out, it could be for somebody else, you know, um, uh, um, a set of you. Uh, these cards which jumped out could be, you know, a past person is coming back into your life. Okay. All right. And for some of you, it could be something new, brand new, which is coming into your life. All right. Whatever it is, it's all fired up. All right, Aquarius, what is your next card, please? Okay. Yeah. I get this energy that you're very, very, um, you know, very much standing your ground, wanting this to happen. You know, anyhow, like it has to happen. You're standing your ground. Your next card is this one. Yes, this is something which you manifested with this two of wands energy. The tower energy. So it's, it's like uh, things are going to shake up in your world. Okay. You had been manifesting this abundance or this ten of cups to happen. And now all of a sudden things are about to you know, it's, it's like, you know, you're going to be struck by lightning. Like, you know, it's going to be shocking when this person or the situation comes around. Okay, because this is, this has been a dream of yours, this um, star card. Okay, it's, it's like your dream, your wishes, your desires, whatever it was. You had been manifesting it and out of the blue, yes, uh, the judgment and the nine of cups can you see that they just uh, wanted me to speak about it that's why the part of the cards were shown out so it's it's like a, you know uh, the verdict uh nine of cups again it's a wish fulfillment okay so it seems like you're going to hear about it out of the blue like something is just going to turn around it is going to shake up things uh within the situation and i feel like it, it could be a little shocking you were manifesting it, but you didn't see it happening. Again, okay, now it is just going to um, come through. Some of you might be dealing with an Aquarius energy. Yes, Eight of Cups. This is something which left your life, but now it is taking that U-turn. Okay, again, they're showing me because there is another card uh, under it, but they don't want me to look at it. It is a third card, uh, which is again the Eight of Cups energy. So there, there is a return energy coming back, you know, a turn around within a situation. It could be a person who walked away or it could be something, you know, it's a, a job which slipped out of your hand. I'm speaking to whom? An Aquarius. All right. If you slipped, um, uh, if you lost a job or, you know, there was some kind of a delay or something of that sort, like it wasn't happening. All of a sudden, it's like, uh, listen up, there is this opportunity. Would you like to join us? That kind of a situation. All right. <coughs> yeah. There is a strong energy about turn around, you know? Yeah. It doesn't have to uh, be a relationship situation like, you know, somebody walked away and now they're coming back. No, I don't feel like. It has to be that, it could be. But then uh, I, I do see like, you know, a situation coming around. <coughs> it seemed like you had faith within this. It's some water. 
uh, you didn't lose faith within this situation even when it did not work out Some of you might be dealing with a Leo energy, an Aquarius, another Aquarius energy. All right, moving on. Aquarians. What is your next card, please? Aquarians out there. Your next card is this one. <laughs> the Tower again. I'm telling you, this is going to be shocking. Okay. Uh, Page of Cups. It, it's like, it again, the Judgment. Didn't I shuffle? Showing the same cards again. Along with the Knight of Cups, I don't know. It didn't get shuffled, I guess. But Page of Cups. It seems like um, someone will come in, okay, uh, to test the waters, okay? It, it's like, um, it will be shocking, but it's, it's not like they're going to come in and say, Oh, let's get married tomorrow. No. They will come in and try to see where things will go. It will be shocking for you because, again, tower. It's going to shake up your world. Okay, this is what you wanted. You know, this is what you were manifesting. But the way it will enter your life is like, you know, at the budding stage. You know, the starting phase, slowly. Okay, like a friendship phase. If it's a relationship, then it's like starting from friendship. Just testing, like, hey, how are you? Like, what's going on? That kind of energy. Okay, but there is this energy about someone, because uh, all of a sudden my voice was uh, just cancelling out on me. So it seems like someone had trouble uh, uh, getting vocal or reaching out to you. That kind of energy. Okay, no, it's fine. Uh, but the judgment card, you can see this person is blowing the trumpet. So it, it's like someone wants to, you know, tell you something. You are the person of my dreams, nine of cups, wish fulfillment, all that. They want to, you know, explain it to you. Like, you know, you know, all that. But then they have trouble telling you all this. They want to see what do you think about them? Okay. Hmm. Okay. But you are their wish fulfillment. Okay. It is a dream situation. Whatever it is, it is, you know, they want this. Or if it is something to do with other than a relationship situation, this is something which you wanted. Okay? It has potential to grow into something bigger. If it comes as something uh, small in the beginning, it will grow and it has the potential to grow into something. Alright, what is your next card? Aquarius out there. This one. Look at the seven of wands. Uh, I get this energy because I just saw the three swords. Uh, ooh. Uh, someone was very um. Let's let's speak about the three of swords and the seven of wands. Okay. The reason why I stopped there was I saw the card, but this is a card they wanted me pull out. So I just left the three of swords because I've already seen it. Uh, there is this energy about uh, someone being hurt, okay? And they are uh, standing very defensive, okay? And they, uh, they are having this uh, warrior stance, like, I'm going to fight you back, that kind of energy. They might be a bit closed off, okay? This could be the, you know, situation or the person whom you were dealing with because lover's energy. Uh, if you were in a relationship and, uh, you know, there's so much, there is so much anticipation within the situation. Like you were manifesting something, but the other person was defensive. That kind of energy. You, know, you own the fence about it. Is there a scope for us to get back together? Like you're manifesting it, but you don't know. You don't know what, you know, uh, what what is going on in their head that kind of energy hmm. 
because they always seemed very defensive. But it's interesting, this is the same person who is returning. Because I don't see you, whoever this, uh, uh, this, because Ace of Pentacles is coming your way. So whoever you thought is going to be defensive or all that, that is the person who is returning. That is why it is going to be shocking. Hmm? That is weird. Because there is so much conflict uh, between the two of you that... Kind of amusing that you know this person decided to come back because it doesn't make sense, right? Oh Lord. Yeah, so much defensive energy. That is why it it, it is really, you know, it, it's going to blow your mind when it happens. It's like But you were manifesting this. You wanted this to work out. But so much conflict, so much conflict that it seemed like it was next to impossible for, you know, this to, you know, repatch or, uh, you know, a patch up or anything. But still, it's happening. It is happening. I get this energy one person was really hurt, okay, or maybe both of you, whatever the case might be. Um, there is this energy about being tired and exhausted and now they want to do something about it. Like, you know, they're initiating because they're tired of just waiting on the sidelines. You know, they want to patch things up. They're going to fight for this because Seven of Wands and... Uh, the lover's energy, they want to patch things up. They're very, um, you know, they're standing their ground. They want this, they want this, they want this. That kind of energy. They're fighting for this. Okay. They don't, they, they are not willing to give up on this connection. It's way too late at my end. It is 11.26 p.m. Queen of Cups, very emotionally invested into this energy. Some of you might be dealing with a Leo, a Gemini, or a Cancerian person. Can we have the last card, please? Aquarius outfit. Can we have the last card, please? Ooh, Page of Wands. Uh, this is your last card, Ace of Swords. So you can expect contact from this person, all right? They will reach out to you, okay? And it is going to be shocking for you because it, it's, it's not, you know, you least expected it. But uh, I just want some messenger energy. Ace of Swords, somebody is very clear about what is it that they want. We started off with the um ten of cups along with the ace of pentacles so someone is deciding that's it i want this i want to be back i'm going to do that for some of you out there this could be something in regards to a financial situation because eight of eight of us i was saying eight of pentacles for some reason that's a work situation but i was trying to um uh, you know, say Ace of Pentacles, which is a solid opportunity. So if some of you had missed out on an opportunity very recently, you know, it seemed like it slipped out of your hand, it is coming back in, okay? Because King of Pentacles, some of you might be dealing with uh, Aries or a Taurus person, or this is how you're going to feel about your life, very stable, very secure, okay? Because uh, somebody is reaching out to you. Nice. I think that's about it. Just going to break the deck here. King of Wands. Okay, this is everything which you wished for. Yes, because the Ace of Cups. Can you see that? No. 
Yes, Ace of Cups, all right, and the family card. So this, this is everything which you wished for, prayed for, and it is coming your way. Is that the devil's energy? You are obsessed with it, okay? Or someone is obsessed with you, uh, with the chariot and the knight of swords, and they are charging in, chariot energy. They are taking charge of the situation. They are coming in. Okay, you are going to get news like whatever it is, you are going to get news real soon. Uh, because the tower energy and the knight of swords energy, it's like quick, quick energy. All right, because someone has made that decision, it's about time. That's it for now. This is Marishi. You want to look at until next time. Bye bye.